Real quick, I just want to mention that I have a Twitch channel I stream on, and if any of you guys are looking for some extra content, I will leave the link down to that in the description. Any support would be greatly appreciated. Do you guys ever feel like a, a plastic bag? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Okay, just playing around. That, like, popped into my head. I thought it was funny. That was kind of stupid. Whatever. But do, do you guys ever wish lightweight hand cannons were still in the game? Well, you know, outside of Rose, because obviously we do have a lightweight hand cannon in the game. Do you guys ever wish, you know, that archetype came back? Well, here's the thing, boys. So, you know, a couple of days ago, I was just scrolling through Twitter, minding my own business, when I saw a phenomenal idea. So we have a lot of 140 hand cannons in the game and you know, the newer ones like Palindrome are absolutely stat monsters. Like how does this even make sense for a hand cannon? 80 range, 76 stability, 58 handling. That is literally the most juiced thing I have ever seen in my life. And when you compare that to something like Waking Vigil, get, bro, that is not even, like it's not even remotely close. Even when you compare that to Rose, like, obviously, I have elements of... Let me just put on strands so you guys can't see the stats. But, like, look at this. Like, it's a big difference. And the suggestion I saw on Twitter was to take these 140 hand cannons that have piss-poor stats compared to something like a palindrome, exalted truth, whatever it is, and change them from adaptive frames back to lightweight frames while keeping their 140 RPM, you know, fire rate. And you guys can feel free to disagree with me, but I think that is an absolutely phenomenal idea because it would genuinely get people using things like Waking Vigil, Dire Promise, you know, hand cannons that people would not even think about using in the first place. And you know, with uh, PvP actually being playable right now, you know, I can use Waking Vigil, make a video and not want to bash my head into a wall. So, you know, that's also the reason because I just love Waking Vigil. This is a great feeling weapon. I'm going to be pairing it with an Astral Horizon Adept, Striker Titan, Doonies, and all these armor mods right here. Anyways, I will see you guys in the Crucible. Bro, I'm playing against a six stack of Hunters first game, and I'm using Waking Vigil. And I have the wrong grenade equipped, too. That is just, uh... Oh, shit! Ooh, my... Okay, okay. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. We are not doing that. Free kill on that guy, bro. But like, y'all got me, y'all got me all the way messed up. If you think I'm pushing like eight people, thank you for the overshield. I don't think I can slide this, bro, because I feel like there's like eight people watching that angle. Ooh. Yo, waking. Vi I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I couldn't even see that guy, but the aim assist is so high on this gun that it actually just carried me right there. I don't want to be like too far. It's like waking vigil does like. I mean, it has range perks, but it definitely struggles in range a little bit. Oh my god, dude, I'm not used to the recoil. It's like weird. Waking Vigil has weird recoil because like obviously it used to be a 150 RPM. Inaugural address, yeah, is a 340. Always sucks to get outgunned by high impact pulse, but like what can you do? It's a high impact pulse. They're really, really good. Dude, he survived like he regen like one HP, bro. And it like it got him just enough health to survive that. I'm dead. I don't have I don't have shoulder. I'm good, I'm good. Free kill on that guy. Dude, this is kind of annoying because it is a six stack, which like, it's kind of hard to play against. I just have to be a little bit more passive than I'd like and I'm fine. Dude, like, that guy's kind of laggy and I'm getting teamed. Okay, nah, bro, like, dude, can I get like just one guy pushing at a time, please? Like, I'm not trying to get ran up on by a whole firing squad. Yo, there's a firing squad everywhere, bro. Like there's, I can't get a, dude, I, I can't, I can't push that either. Bro, this six stack is like actually moving in unison, bro. This is this is crazy. Very, very crazy for a quick play match. But hey, I mean, they're enjoying Guardian games. They're, it doesn't look like they're using two cheese of loadout, so I don't really mind. Dude, that guy had like the perfect... Is he... No way you're pushing. You're hard pushing? You're like one HP. What? Dude, okay, that kid is brain dead. Like, why is he hard pushing that? I don't have enough range for that kid at all, man. <laughs> Waking Vigil is struggling, man. If I had, like, a Rangefinder Pally, I'd definitely hit that far. Or, like, Explosive Fatebringer. Dude, that actually feels so good, though, man. Like, I miss using Waking Vigil. Like, I really... <gasps> Dude, it, it's nasty! Yeah. Like, it's so good! It's so goddamn good, man. Like, I love this gun. Like, if this was a lightweight... I... Oh, I'm not pushing that. I don't have a single teammate over here. 
Oh, he's so far, man. We're just not hitting that. We're not hitting that with like 40 range from that far. Oh my god. Astral is crazy for that. Ast <gasps> no, 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 no. I'm dead. Oh no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, we're gone. We're literally gone. I'm out of there, bro. I'm not getting tethered. I'm not getting tethered at all. Okay, a little bit, little bit of ass aim right there, but I didn't really know where he was. Can I slide this? But yeah, it is kind of crazy to me that people are like, oh, uh, good players want CBMM so they can stomp bad players. It's like, bro, like my team is getting stomped right now and I'm having a good time. Like, that just shows you all you need to know. Like, I can get stomped in genuine, like, you're not, you're not doing that, bro. You're not, that didn't even work. And he's like, bro, I'm getting ran up on by a firing squad and I'm still enjoying myself. Although it would be kind of nice if uh, fire team based matchmaking worked at all, but clearly it doesn't look like it is because matching a six stack first game, like first game I played on Titan at least, but you know, matching a six stack first game is kind of crazy. Okay, I can't push that either. I think I just storm made and back up. Nobody's gonna push through there. Yeah, that is okay. That is the one thing I don't like about playing like a six stack is I feel like these kids just don't move very much and they have really long range weapons. So there's not much I can do awaking vigil on this map. Free on that guy. Wait, was there another guy back here? No. I think I can just... Uh, are they spawning? No, they're not spawning back here. Why did I just do that? I did not even mean to place my barricade. Yo, fusion! Yo, okay. Yo, yo, chill, 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 chill. Chill out with that fusion nonsense, bro. Like, I'm not... I'm not... Like, bro, there's like eight people here for no reason. I guess Dooney's got the one guy. Is that guy coming through here? He's behind Boulder. I don't... My teammate just got absolutely dunked on. I'm going for this. So I am Bro, look at his... Nah, nah. Bro, there is no way that dude just escaped with like a sliver. Like you could... Mm, you could barely even see dude's health bar, man. We just needed one more damage and we have that. It's okay. We outgunned him with the primer anyway. I think there was a guy swinging through with grapple. We do have to be a little careful. He has super again. Dude, 42. That super has like no DR. Okay, teammate is actually going crazy with the scout, though. Oh, dude, this... Mm -mm, mm -mm, it's so good. It's so goddamn good. If this was a lightweight, bro. If this was a lightweight, I don't think y'all would ever see me use another hand... I don't think y'all would ever see me use another hand cannon, bro. I don't even think I'm just gassing the gun because my aim is good today. The gun is just that good. It's that good. The gun is literally... I'm dead. I'm dead, though. No, actually, we're good. We're good. I barely survived that. Dude, you're getting outgunned. You have a fusion. Like, bro, we're literally running these kids. Well, we're not running these kids over. We're losing by uh, quite a bit. I'm dead. I just got shot in the side. I had to push that. Kind of sucks. Like, bro, this is video evidence. You can get stomped in a game and have fun. You can get stomped in CBMM and still have fun. If this happened in SBMM, that would have been, like, insufferable. But, like, look at this. Look at this. I want to see the scoreboard, bro. I genuinely, like, look at this. Like, I had fun. In my team, they didn't play very good. They did not play very good at all. And I still enjoyed it. So, uh, that's literally living proof that CBMM is just 12.725 times better than SBMM. That's why SBMM never should come back to the game. Also, let me give some condemnations to my boy Rocky over here. Well, boys, there you have it. Waking Vigil is still an absolute beast of a gun and, uh, like I said, if this was a lightweight frame, I do not think I would ever touch another hand cannon besides like, besides maybe Hawkmoon because I like Hawkmoon and it's cool and the whatnot. But Waking Vigil, it's just, it is an absolute monster. Even in this current state, you know, feel wise, obviously stat wise, not the greatest. Palindrome is definitely better. But like, like I said, if they gave this lightweight, it would, it would be so goddamn good. But as always, if you guys did enjoy this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you left a like and a comment letting me know what you thought. And if you're new around here, it never hurts at that subscribe button. Anyways, it's been Gravely. Peace.